What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Spry Gliding Core Discs 2-pack I picked up at Walmart for $7.86. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. We're going to take a look at what comes in the box, take a look at what the exercise guide recommends we use this product to do and last but not least see the quality of this item i think for seven dollars and 86 cents getting into the home fitness lifestyle is a pretty fair entry point especially with something as versatile as gliding core discs now these won't necessarily target a specific muscle group these are just general exercises you can use uh, to basically strengthen upper body and lower body extremities like arms and legs, for example. Otherwise, if you're looking for something a little bit more targeted, you're probably going to end up spending just a little bit more money. Say, for example, if you decided to buy a bench press with weights to strengthen your chest specifically, that would probably cost in the hundreds of dollars. But today we're just going to take a look at how you can basically have your own in-home gym without needing these crazy machines that take up a lot of space and for only $7.86. So like I said, we're gonna take a look at the quality of the product. We're gonna see what comes in the box. We're gonna see what exercise routines it comes with. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions. Okay, so first and foremost here, you get a pretty good idea as to how you'll basically be able to use the spry gliding core discs. What is nice is they do include number two at the bottom left hand corner so you do know that this is a package of two which sort of would imply that they sell them uh, only one at a time as well but if you actually go onto Walmart's website or in store you will not find these sold separately. You do have to buy them in at least a double pack which is this pack they also sell these in a pair so I'm guessing that would be four discs total they're a fairly decent size so you could easily see somebody you know slipping these into a backpack or some kind of uh, purse or duffel bag even though you don't find these in gyms don't get the idea that this is just cheap and it's a gimmick because it's not. The reason they don't have things like this at your local gym or at your apartment gym is because they are so easy to lose and steal and things like that. So uh, really they're super inexpensive but you know having these at home just makes more sense right? So let's go ahead and get into this box here and see just exactly what they look like, what they feel like. We'll see what the exercise guide looks like and then at the end we'll maybe just do a couple of example workouts. Now first thing is first what I want to quickly note here is even though your first intuition is really going to drift over to the exercise guide I think you should actually take a look at the user manual first and that's because this will go into the specifics about the item itself. So this is going to go over safety so it should pretty much emphasize how to use these. Uh, you'll definitely want to challenge yourself with the exercise guide. I think, yeah, as you can see, I think they're just a little bit more difficult on the back here. Okay, so now onto the core discs themselves. You have the Spree logo right dead center in each disc here. And like I was saying earlier, uh, the material on the underside is a little bit different from this high gloss plastic black material on the opposite side. Now, if you're doing anything with like a leg lunge or squat or you're maybe doing a stretch with your legs, uh, you'll definitely want to have the high gloss black plastic side flipped downwards on the carpet so that they slide along the carpet much easier and you know, you're not pulling a tendon or something like that. And then once you actually decide that you want to move to a harder surface like a hardwood floor or maybe a marble or granite or some kind of stone or tile, you would flip them over to this sort of micro 
fiber sort of memory foam type uh, material covered with this nylon fabric just to ensure that you get again a moderate but safe amount of resistance they actually fit nicely together you can see how thin they are just both of them stacked one on top of the other you can see that they would fit pretty much into any small compartment that's wide enough and deep enough to take them uh, they don't require much space at all and last but not least because of their material you could actually take them through the airport so i think that's a pretty you know awesome little idea maybe a travel idea if you want to take these with you and i will say this there is quite a bit more resistance trying to balance yourself so that you know this core disc doesn't come sliding out from underneath you really if you'll actually look at the design of this this plastic scratches extremely easily so i think if you're doing any type of exercise on a hardwood floor or a tile floor any type of hard floor you're going to obviously want to flip the core disc over to its fabric side and then use it glossy side up okay so i think the real key to this ab crunch is to maybe have your uh, feet crisscrossed when you have your knees up off the ground so oh that's I will be quite honest with you, when you do stretch all the way out, when you stretch your arms all the way out in front of you, it is extremely difficult to get back up underneath your body. Uh, okay guys, so that has been an unboxing and first impressions. You've got a good idea as to what the product looks like, what it feels like, how it works, the quality of it. You saw what came in the box. You saw some exercises with the spry gliding core discs. One thing I must say about this is at first it's going to seem a little bit gimmicky, but the exercises you can do with it are legitimate and do work out. But what I actually just want to quickly say here is using the exercise guide, the exercises are actually much more complicated and sophisticated than you actually might think. So. I think you'll definitely want to give them a try for a month or two at least because I think after maybe a month or so of using this consistently at least three times a week, uh, once you learn the exercises, I think they're going to become easier and they're going to activate muscles that you haven't used or activate muscles to use in a different way that you haven't used them before. Uh, just doing the ab crunch was extremely difficult. As you saw, I could get all the way down, but could not get all the way back up. Uh, and I am pretty confident I was using these discs right side up. So yeah, like I said, you know, give the exercise guy just a few months. Uh, they are sophisticated, complicated workouts that will take time to figure out. Uh, they're not going to seem natural at first, but uh, over time, I think they will become natural. So anyways, guys, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close out this unboxing and first impressions. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like this kind of content, hit that like button and subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for tuning into this channel and for liking these videos and for watching them and for commenting. Uh, we're closing in on 2,000 subscribers. We're about to pass 1,900 subscribers. And the reason why I say we're closing in on two is because we're pretty much going to get right through that 100 subscribers we need to get to two. I'm pretty confident we'll get there. Uh, we have grown tremendously these past couple of months. The channel's in a little bit of a downturn right now, but I think that just means there's more awesome things to come, more exciting opportunities to come to continue making videos for you guys. Uh, and I am making changes on this channel as we speak, starting with this video, actually starting with a video I published two and a half days ago. So I really hope you enjoy these new changes. Uh, I think the first thing you're gonna notice is I'm not filming the physical unboxing anymore. I'm taking the item out of the box, I'm looking at it first, and then I'm pretty much telling you what comes in the box. I'm not showing you the actual unboxing. Uh, this will actually help me in a few different ways. 
uh, but most importantly, it helps me to deliver a more accurate first impressions because I really do need to think about what I'm about to say. I need to correct ideas I have about it or assumptions that I have about it. You know, I, I do need to look at the user manual and see what it actually says. And I do need to see what the exercise guide says because I need to be able to explain how you're going to use these best and, and come up with reasons why uh, you might be able to relate to what I'm thinking about this product. So anyways, I hope you just respect these couple of changes. I know they may seem fraudulent or maybe fake at first because, um, you know, technically I wouldn't be doing an unboxing because you aren't seeing the box being ripped apart. Uh, but, you know, I think you can pretty much imagine, right, the unboxing. Uh, you know, and maybe have that experience, save it for yourself, right? Especially if it's a really cool product. So anyway, I think what I'm doing is right here and I think it's only to make it fairer to you, really. It's not to make my life any easier, it's actually to make your life easier and my life easier, but it's really a win-win. So anyways, guys, thank you so much. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. I really hope you like these changes. I really hope uh, you stick around for more awesome content. Please hit that like, subscribe. Also share this video and hit that bell thing. Anyways, my name is John. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.